Hello. We will have some rational operations here and we will show you how to simplify such trigonometric expressions. Okay, let me take an example for you. Let's say we have here sine x plus tan x over 1 plus cos x. Right. Now, to simplify such an expression, what we should do is well, most of the terms are in sine and cosine, so let's just split tan and write it in terms of sine and cosine. And you know what tan is. Tan is 1 sine x over cos x, right? It's the ratio of sine and cos. So we can write this as sine x plus sine x over cos x, right? That is tan x divided by 1 plus cos x. Now, Whenever you get kind of a fraction, the best thing is to eliminate a fraction. To eliminate cos x from the denominator, what we can do is, we can multiply both numerator and denominator by cos x, correct? So if you are doing both multiplying numerator and denominator by cos x, what do you get? You get cos x sin x here, plus sin x because the cos x get cancelled out over cos x times 1 plus cos x. So that's what we did here was, let me just write it here for you, what we did was that we multiplied and divided by cos x, right? So we get cos x times this in the denominator and when you did cos x with both these separately, like right? You have to do with this and also with this, right? So when you did with this, you get cos x sin x. And when you did with this, the cos x got cancelled out. And so you get cos x sin x plus sin x, right? Now what we can do is we can factor out sin x. So if you factor out sin x, then what do you get? Let me take this on this side, okay? So we'll, we'll just take it on this side. So, we will factor out sin x. In that case, we get in the numerator sin x and from here we get cos x and then from here 1 is left. So, cos, cos x plus 1. And in the denominator, we have cos x times cos x plus 1. Correct? And now you can always cancel the factor cos x and cos x which are common. And so we get sin x over cos x. Now you know sin x over cos x is basically tan x. Is that okay? So we started with this rational expression, rational in the sense that we have a numerator and a denominator and seemingly complicated turned out to be just tan x. Okay. One thing to remember here is that whenever we write about these expressions, we should think about restrictions. Okay. Now, denominator cannot be zero, right? So, since denominator cannot be zero, we have one restriction as that cos x is not equal to minus one. Is it okay? We have this restriction. And also remember that whenever you use tan x, then tan x is not defined for cos tan x is sin x over cos x, right? So, tan x is not defined when cos x is 0. Therefore, that is also our restriction. So, cos x is not equal to minus 1 and cos x is not equal to 0, okay? That is also important. We do get that restriction from here itself, tan is sin over cos, and then we get it here. But in any case, whenever there is a tan function, right, cos x cannot be 0. That is always a restriction even if it is not a rational expression looking like this because tan x in itself is a rational expression for sin x over cos x, okay? Now, like this, you can solve a couple of questions and I can give you some to practice. For example, uh, you can do this, which is very similar and we have 1 plus cortex over 1 plus tan x. Right? So when you solve this, you should get proof that this is equals to cortex. Okay? And also write down 
your restrictions for this problem. Okay, I, I think that will help you. We'll give you more examples like this. Thank you.